We are about to show you how quickly you can get a demonstration environment set up and running to test out the QVD for yourself. Of course, the demonstration environment that we're going to install will be fully functional and will include all of the components that you need in order to connect to a remote virtual desktop. But since all of the components are running on the same system, it probably won't be able to offer real production level service. Our demonstration environment is designed to allow you to get familiar with the different components and how they work. It's also an opportunity for you to properly test QVD to see that it meets your requirements. In this screencast, we will demonstrate the few steps that you need to perform in order to get QVD installed and configured to serve up your first desktop. In order to begin the demo installation, you should have the 64-bit version of Ubuntu Lucid Linux installed on the host where you intend to run the demonstration environment. We also provide packages for SUSE Linux and if you're interested in installing on this platform, we recommend that you refer to the Getting Started Guide provided at our website. If you're running a later version of Ubuntu, all of the components should still be compatible, but you may need to consider getting additional support to set things up properly. So, let's get started and open up a terminal application in order to perform some of the basic installation steps. First, you should add the QVD repository to your apt sources. You can find out more about how to do this on the download page of the QVD website. Once that is done, you should update the repository list with sudo apt-get update. If everything has gone smoothly, you're ready to start the installation. We can do this by typing sudo apt-get install qvd demo single instance no support. As you can see, this will install a fair number of dependencies. It's important to keep in mind that the QVD makes use of a wide range of open source software, including the PostgreSQL server and the Perl MVC framework known as Catalyst. While all of the dependencies continue to download, it's worth taking the time to explain a few things about disk images. Disk images are snapshot images of an operating system that can be loaded into a virtual machine and served to a connecting desktop user. You can use a single disk image to service as many users who have the same general system requirements. This means that you can quickly reduce your disk space requirements and desktop management costs. While you can make your own disk image, for demonstration purposes, it usually makes a bit more sense to download a pre-built disk image from the downloads page on the QVD website. Simply pick the image that you would prefer to serve your users and download it. Let's go back to our installation and see how it's doing. As you can see, the demo installation package has actually installed all of the different components that make up the complete QVD virtual desktop infrastructure. The package also includes a script to automatically set up the database and to configure various network parameters required in order for QVD to work properly. For instance, it has set up a network bridge interface and has enabled IP forwarding within the kernel. At this point, we should be able to open a web browser to access the QVD web administration tool to get started. And that's all you need to do to get your QVD demo system installed and up and running. We recommend that you take a look at our second screencast in this series to see how the QVD web administration tool is used and how quickly you can configure your system to start serving live virtual desktops to end users. Thanks for watching and please try out QVD today to see how you can simplify desktop management and reduce your infrastructure costs significantly.